you know, the Harfoots, you know, do we get involved in the world? Like, what is the deal with a stranger? You know, there's, there is a lot there that I'm like, <laughs> very interested to come Rachel, back. Rachel, is it Gandalf or not, Gandalf? Rachel? <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> I brought, you're here to tell us who he is. No. <laughs> I'm, um, uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's a Maya, which if, you know, for, for, for yeah. the, 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 the non lore heads, um, it is in the uh, appendices enough that they could include this, I believe. Um, Valinor is ruled over by two sets of deities or angels, mm -hmm. some people call them, the Valar and the Maiar. The Valar are a lot more powerful and overseeing. The Maiar are just a little bit less powerful. Uh, Sauron was originally a Maya. Mm -hmm. um, all the wizards, uh, Saruman, the blue wizards, Radagast, Gandalf, they were all Maya sent to Middle-earth in human form. The thing is, they're not sent to Middle-earth until the third age. This is the right. second age. Right. So that's, people are sort of debating if they're gonna find a way that around becomes that. becomes the condensing issue of like, they threw around that vague condensing setup. Right, but that sure. that's that's different ages. I don't yeah. know if they can do that's that. Huge. Again, that would they're be huge. definitely condensing the second age by far. Yeah. That is very yeah. clear to those of us that know the timetable. But yeah. um, uh, the Balrogs were Maya before they were corrupted by Morgoth. Yeah. So and they um, led with that in the trailer. They were like, yes. "Oh, we're, oh, we're that, going there." That, yeah, that that is very so, enjoy so actually, Cause of Doom as it is now. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of my favorite theory. Although that again, the timeline's not quite right. Is that mm. the stranger will become the Balrog that ultimately Ooh, wow. decimates Casa Doom? Uh, oops, excuse me, my mic went down. Um, uh, wow, that's that would be so heartbreaking. That, it definitely would. <laughs> with Nori, <laughs> oh my god, that would be terrible. I, I was talking about it with a few friends last night. Lots of Gandalf, lots of well, Saruman because he would have been the senior, and lots of stuff like that. And then it, then it dawned on me that they could take a Hail Mary that would be like a 20-year payoff to the Jackson days and would probably piss a lot of people off, but also might intrigue people. Is the stranger Tom Bombadil? Okay, that was one of the first things that hit my head. I'm not even – like I saw yeah. like, like how big he was and the beard and everything else. I know most yeah. people, movie lovers – Probably mm -hmm. Gandalf. My mind immediately right. went to Tom Bombadil. <laughs> I, 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 it was hard to not go Gandalf, especially talking to insects. But mm -hmm. then I thought about it and I was like, no, no, no. Too far down, too far down. And then I was texting a buddy of mine uh, named Goose from the Try It Out of the Force podcast. And I said to him, could it be Tom? Because he's got famously the most ambiguous origins, famously been around an ambiguous amount of time. I mean, I know he's supposed to be a first age guy, mm -hmm. loosely. Um, of possibly the first ever man. Right. Um, yeah. But, you know, if they bump that up a little bit into the second, that would be a less drastic thing than pulling a wizard fo uh, back in the timeline. And right. it's like he's in the right area where Tom will eventually kind of settle, like Shire adjacent. Um, and so that was just an interesting thing. Like you have somebody that is probably like the biggest iconic character that is also in the blank slate category. <laughs> Of right. being able to mess with, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm 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 actually really excited about it because this is definitively an area where it could theory theoretically be any of these things, yeah, um, and that that's going to be kind of a lot of fun to right. talk about amongst loreheads and non, you know, just the idea because basically for the story it represents change, as Ken was saying, that is a, a massive theme in the episode and is you know. Can people change? Will they? Pe will people change? As you were saying, and the idea of um, should you change? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Know, that, should you? Yeah, where a lot of the right. elders are. Well, a absolutely not. Yeah. yeah, and, and that's a and big that's, like complacency point too. Absolutely, one hundred percent. So um, yeah. it, it's it's like I I keep saying I really think that there's a really great foundation here, and I'm I'm really curious and mostly excited to see where it goes in that regard.